Matt from Investiquan. Today is Monday, July 18, 2022. The markets finished strong on Friday, closing up at the highs of the week. And this morning, we are seeing the markets continue higher. We've kind of had trend-like activity in the overnight session, and we are trading near the highs of the session as we are getting closer to the open of the week. So what we're going to be looking at this morning is what has happened historically on Mondays when Friday closes up at the highs of the week and you gap higher the next session. I'm going to set it up using all four instruments. The setup's based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. And currently we are trading higher. I'm going to add that to the test by going to the opening filters, gap direction, clicking on gap up. That just means the opening print is above the prior session closing print. All right, next thing is price patterns. I'm going to say that the prior session closed at a five-day high. I'm going to do that by going to the act of today, which tells you what is true for today. And I'm going to go down to this new high section, day after a five-day high close. And then in the indicators library, I'm going to say that the prior session closed below a 200-day simple moving average. I can grab that from active today, or I can go right here and take it as well. Hit the below button there. That'll add it. Lastly, I'm going to the calendar library and saying that this is taking place specifically on a Monday. I'll grab that from active today. There it goes. I just clicked on Monday. It's been added to the test. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when it is a Monday and you are gapping up and the prior session closed at a five-day high but below a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 25 samples in the S&P, 21 in the NASDAQ, 27 in the Dow, 32 in the Russell. Win rates on these are all coming in a little bit above 50%, but not huge numbers here. We've got S&P coming in at 56%. The Nasdaq 52%, the Dow 59%, and Russell 63%. If we look at the average moves, the S&P has a larger average move to the upside compared to its move to the downside. The Nasdaq has a larger average move to the downside. For the Dow, very similar in size, and for the Russell, larger average wins here, which would be a bigger move to the upside. So we're a little bit mixed. Uh, average moves bigger on two of them. Uh, here to the upside for the average win. Uh, one of them is bigger to the downside. One is neutral. Win rates all a little bit better than 50% with Russell being the strongest at 63%. So uh, historically, a little bit of a lean towards the upside, but certainly not the strongest pattern I've ever seen. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.